some of what we've got in the box. We've got a quick start guide. We've got a nice chunky wall wart. We have a cool little remote control. We've got a network cable. We've got a USB cable. We've got an audio cable. We've got another audio cable. We've got the power cord. And we've got nice little foam bases which for vibration resistance and stuff and thoughtfully we've even got a little allen key to put everything together with as you can see they're quite compact they came with the stands pre-installed in the vertical configuration i guess you would call it where the speaker faces forward and the stand is on the bottom. These can be mounted a bunch of different ways. You can mount the stand on this side and have it with the drivers facing up. Or this seems to be the default configuration, which is facing straight forward with the tweeter on the bottom and the stand facing that way. Let's hook them up. Just so you can see here, the grills attach by magnet. You can put them in whichever direction you want. You just sit them there and they grab. Unlike some speakers I've seen with magnetic grills, these actually stay in place. Got a nice little logo, but you can align them to be vertical or horizontal. For the rest of this, I'm going to take the grills off because, well, I don't usually use grills on speakers. Okay, we're going to hook these up to a computer, so we're going to do this just the way most people are going to be doing it. And we've got backs of our two little guys here. And on the back of one, we've got a simple network connection. This actually came with a network cable. And we were kind of supposed to use the one that came with it, but you could use a different one if you wanted to go a little longer. They give you a Nice, heavy-duty, long one. It looks to be about 10 or 12 feet. And you plug that in. We're going to connect the power pack, which we already took the liberty of plugging in. And we're going to connect the nice little USB cable, which... It also came with a nice heavy-duty six-foot USB cable. We're going to connect that to the input that says USB, and we're going to connect the other end to our computer. Off-screen here, we've got a nice Windows 10 computer, so we're going to be using that. So let's see how we're going to go here. And there we have it. Does it feel right?